Hey everybody, welcome back to Hood's Custom Shop. So today, we're going to do a little video showing you guys how to fold up your bandsaw blades and how to unfold them. So, it's really, it's not a difficult thing, but it's one of those things that's kind of hard to get the hang of it at first. But once you get the hang of it, it actually is pretty easy to do. Uh, so, I hope I can do, do this some justice and really kind of explain things as we go through this. And uh, so, here we go. Let's show you how to do this. First thing you want to do is have your blade where your teeth are facing down. That's the way I prefer them to be because I don't like the, the teeth of the blade in my gut. So I put the spine of the blade against my stomach here. And I don't know if you guys know this, but it's my shoot dang bang bang shirt. Uh, go check out the crockers and uh, you'll understand what that's all about. Most of you probably already know that watch my channel, but anyways, this is how you're going to hold on to your blade. Just kind of hold it. At, uh, you've got your arms out here like so. And it really helps if you can get the blade underneath something. It's a little more controlled. So you want to bring the spine of the this one here and this one here together as you kind of walk in towards it like so. You bring this in, okay? You cross one underneath the other. All right, and you see how I'm twisting my wrist inwards, uh, bringing my thumbs in, and that brings, see that flopping one there? That brings it in like that, and you lay it down. It's really, it, it's that simple, guys. Uh, some guys' videos out there will just confuse the heck out of you, and you're like, how in the world did you do that? Uh, they won't have it against a table or something, so they're kind of flinging it or flicking it or whatever and you're just like what you know because it happens so quick that you you don't really see what's going on all right so to unfold it you just want to kind of see how this wants to unfold you can have it however right and however it is you want to see how it wants to unfold and you find this one that wants to come out like that the opposite one is going to do this right here all right, see how that's wanting to come out? What you want to do is get a hold of this one here with your left hand and this one with your right hand. All right, let's do that and kind of just slowly control it just like so. All right, again, we'll show you how to fold it here, put it up against something. Just like that. All right. Now to unfold it. You want to have a hold of it. Uh, normally, you know, if you're new at it, you might want to just, the way I always do it is I just toss it out there in the grass. Uh, if you're on rocks or something, you probably don't want to do that because you can ding up the teeth on the blade. Honestly, I've never had one dinged up to where it really affected anything. But, you know, once you've resharpened your blades, you know, I resharpened mine by hand. These right here have been used once. I've brought them back and, and resharpened them. I didn't set the teeth. Uh, normally, what I'll do is I'll use them like twice uh, and see on the second time around, um, I'll see how they're cutting and I'll make a determination on whether or not I should set the teeth on it the next time around. Uh, but if you don't take too much off when you're sharpening, if you just barely, barely touch the face of that tooth uh, when you're resharpening, you can get quite a few sharpenings out of these. Um, you know, you can, you can get away with doing it like that. You don't have to, to grind down in the gullet. Um, I know it, it helps to grind down in the gullet and that kind of helps get rid of those hairline fractures but honestly i've not seen a blade last that long yet now that's with my experience with the linux blades uh these monk force blades i have yet to break one so the jury's still out on that one <laughs> uh so far with nine blades of the monk force uh blades from kennesaw supply company so far with nine blades I've milled up about twice as much lumber as what I did with 20 blades of the Linux. And the Linux blades, like from Woodland Mills, cost a lot more money. Uh, I think they're like 
2250 a blade or something like that uh probably plus the shipping and all uh yeah i i just can't do that it's very cost prohibitive for me so i go through <clears throat> i go through kennesaw supply and i get these blades right here from them and so far i'm really happy with them they cut really well the attention to detail on the set and angle and everything like that on them is just top notch uh they cut really good they cut nice and smooth and they seem to last a lot longer i haven't broken yet the the weld seam on these they they do a lot better uh than what i've seen with the linux blades the linux blades I don't know if it's a machine doing it or a person, but they grind way too much metal out of that weld on the weld seam. Uh, so I'm just not a big fan of the Linux blades. And these right here, these Monk Forge blades, they just been great. All right. So can't say anything about bad about them. Let me go ahead and show you how to fold this again. I need to get these put up in the in the job box. They're already getting wet. I'm getting wet. So here we go real quick just like that bam done so guys hope you liked the video if you did please smash that thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and as always we'll see you next time thanks for watching